So what is Mantra Diksha? Many of you have different understandings. Some of them could be misunderstandings or some confusion or right understanding. According to Sri Vidya Tantra Sadhana, Mantra Diksha is considered as your second birth. You all celebrate your birthdays every year with great pomp and show. I'm being very happy to be wished by all. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. That's not your real birthday. Now that you are sitting in front of me, this is your second birthday. First birthday was your, according to your date of birth. That was a birth given to all of us by our biological parents. And we get this birth through our biological parents because of the karmic baggage that we carry on our backs, which is invisible to most of us. So now you know that why you are born with this body and to this particular environment and parents and why are you living with particular people around you, the company of which keeps changing as per the phase of your life. Somebody who was very close to you, dear and near to you, may not be no longer with you. And new people have joined your life. So your journey, you should understand that it's like a train journey, depending on the station to which you have taken your tickets. So the ticket collector, TC, will make sure that you get onto the train and get down the train right in the right railway stations. You cannot extend your journey as per your wish, but you have to confine your journey to the wish of the ticket that you have bought in your past lives. Do you understand me what I am trying to say? It's something very serious. And it's nothing about me, it's about you all, each one of you. So this ticket is very important. The train ticket which you have bought, once you buy, you cannot say that, no, 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 I wanted to buy to that other station, but by mistake, I have taken the ticket for this station. Will the ticket collector listen to you? He will say, no, sir, no, madam. You have to, you cannot even transfer it to somebody else, this ticket. It is non-transferable. So you have to do your journey, which is destined and you have to reach the destination. So with this background of our birth, is it not very interesting that you are ready for today's special further journey, which is called second birth, where, listen to me carefully, where you are eligible to choose your ticket, where you are become eligible to change your destination, become eligible to get down wherever you want to get down and not forced by the TC of your train journey. And that TC is going to be your guru who will give you the ticket in consultation with your sadhana the lifestyle, the determination, the resolution to do the sadhana, everything counted upon by the Guru. And he does it in consultation with the Divine Mother. Is it too heavy to understand? I am trying to give you the simplest example of a train journey and buying the ticket which covers your entire gamut of life, this truth. 
So Mantra Diksha is a second birth or it is also called rebirth where this mantra leads you through a, a wonderful self-transformation journey. So Mantra Diksha is nothing but your self-transformation journey.